Hello all, welcome back to Refactoring Python Code. So today I'm going to talk about using third-party refactoring tools as the last section of Refactoring Python Code. So we talked a lot about manually doing refactoring, but then I want to give you an overview of tools that we can use to refactor it automatically. So tools use pattern matching to help us refactor things and it's a lot more robust than using refactoring by hand because manual work means you know, there's a chance for human errors and you know as much as we dislike it we all make errors and using tools that formalize the refactoring process would help us do refactoring faster and better. So in this section we're going to take a look at three different two sets. So there's Rope, a Python refactoring library using code mods to do Python refactoring, and other tools available for refactoring. Let's first focus on Rope. So Rope is a open source project around implementing functionality for refactoring. Interestingly enough, it's not supposed to be used on its own or imported as a module, but it's supposed to be integrated into an IDE. So whether you're using Atom or Visual Studio Code, they both can use Rope at the back end. Let's go in and take a look at some of the documentation to see what Rope can do and how we can integrate with Rope. So Rope is on GitHub, is a Python refactoring library, and you can see that it's constantly updated. So the last update was four days ago, but it has started for 10 years, which is actually quite incredible for a piece of open source software. So Rope can do many of the standard refactorings. You can rename things, you can extract methods, you can move classes, modules, and packages. You can inline things, you can restructure things using regular expressions. You can introduce a factory, which is a pattern-based refactoring. So you can do introducing a factory pattern or an abstract factory pattern. You can change the method signature, i.e. changing the variable names that go into the function or you can transform a module into a package and the other way around. You can calculate fields using classes and other things. So the interesting thing is you can't actually use Rope. Well, you can, but it's not recommended to use Rope on its own. So the two ways of using Rope is, number one, using what's called a Python language server with at the Atom IDE. So if you have Python in Atom, what you want to do is install the IDE Python package, which integrates a lot of Python packages to help you, for example, look at simple references, look at the outline, and most importantly, do refactorings. So this is the way to use Rope if you are on Python and Atom. So it implements the Python language server protocol and one of the things is it uses Rope for completions and renaming. On the other hand, if you're on Visual Studio Code, you want to install Microsoft's VS Code Python extension. So we take a look, this is a Visual Studio Code extension for the Python language, and you can do refactoring and unit tests for it. And this is the way that Visual Studio Code has incorporated Rope. So you can see that Visual Studio Code has unfortunately only implemented a few of the rope functionalities. So you can rename, you can extract variables, you can extract methods, and you can sort imports. Let's see how this happens in Visual Studio. So the first thing that rope can do in Visual Studio Code is to sort imports. So a lot of times what you would do is you need a new package and you just very nicely append it to the imports in the top of the file. And eventually it will just become mumbo jumbo and you have no idea whether some imports are used and it's very hard to understand what imports are needed for this particular file. What you can do in Python enabled Visual Studio Code is to right click any file and select sort imports. And so what it would do is first put all the Python standard library modules onto the first section and also sort them by alphabetical order. And then it will separate any second or third party package into its own section and also rank those in terms of alphabetical order. 
So that allows you to very nicely sort and organize your import statements. In the second example, we're in refactor OOP.py. We can extract variables from complex expressions. So if we simply highlight a part of the expression or even the whole expression, a part makes more sense. We can do extract variable and it'll create a new variable for us. Let's say total price. And you can see that we have successfully segmented our expression into two parts and it has extracted a variable from this expression. And the other thing is we can also extract methods. So we can say, I want all three of these lines in new method. So after extracting the method, we can see that we very nicely moved all three of these expressions into a new function called pricing. And it has also worked out that this, the three expressions here need an input of units and we need to re return base and tax for us to calculate the next line of this function, right? So it returns base and tax as a tuple and rope has automatically figured that out. And because we're using rope in visual studio code, then we can nicely leverage that functionality. And then we'll take this and pass it to the final calculation in return base and tax. So a lot of the things that we're doing in throughout this course can be done using rope combined with visual studio code, which is very handy. It allows us to very systematically extract methods and variables and sort imports. In the next few videos, I'm going to show you even more powerful refactoring and automation that hopefully encourages you to refactor more because now it's less fiddly and there are less chances of making an error. And that's all there is to it. We've learned that Rope is an open source Python refactoring library that has been around for about 10 years, but it's still actively updated. We know that Rope can do a multitude of things, including extracting things, inlining functions, renaming functions, converting modules into packages, etc. We know that we can leverage Rope using Atom's IDE Python package or VS Code's Python package. And also, if you are so inclined, you can even use Rope as a Python library itself to modify other Python files, and that gives you access to the full feature set of Rope. You might be tempted to do that because Rope is very powerful, but in the next two videos, I'm going to show you even better tools to do the same thing, but it's integrated into the IDE or the command line, which allows you to not to remove the need to create a Python script just to refactor other Python scripts.